<laughs> in order to describe the transformation of these two, it is easier done using a unit square. I always call this coordinate A and call this coordinate B. If we acknowledge where A moves to and where B moves to, then we can determine what transformation we've got. A moves, in the case of the first one, to 0, 1. And 0, 1 is there. So A moves up there, to that point there. B has moved to minus 1, comma 0. And minus 1, comma 0 is here. So B has moved to there. But if A is moved up to there, and B is moved to there, we can clearly see what's happened. We have a rotation of 90 degrees anticlockwise center the origin. If I repeat that same maths with the second problem, A has moved to 0, 1, so 0, 1, just like last time. However, B has moved to 1, 0, 1, 0. But if A has moved up there and B has moved down there, here we have a reflection in the line Y plus X. And that is how we use the unit square to define what the transformation is.